Hey folks, it's Nate. Thanks for joining me once again as we look to the horizon. Today, I am back with another brief writing update. I have spent the last week, week and a half, trying to get a couple of chapters ahead on the Gospel According to Earth so I can pivot back to making final adjustments to Burning Bright. And I think I'm there. I'm only really three chapters ahead right now, but I think I'm hoping I can do most of what I need to do over this week and part of next week so I can just kind of drop back into the normal schedule once I wrap things up after the next 10 days or so. That is the plan. That is the plan. As you know, uh, rare plans of mine have rarely survived meeting with reality for a number of reasons. Um, it ranges across a whole host of stuff from, you know, unexpected life events to um, things just not going as fast as I would like. So I'm not getting too optimistic about this working out the way I hope it does, but you gotta have you gotta have a checklist in place so you can do things, um, and hopefully, hopefully they work out. Um, that is generally what life boils down to: uh, set your priorities, pursue those priorities, take whatever you get. Right now, things have been going slower than hoped for, but as I've said before. These goals of mine were always pretty optimistic, I feel, for where I am, um, both in this process and in my overall levels of experience. So I'm staying focused on it, I keep working on it, and it's my hope that things will uh, start bearing fruit sometime in the next month or so. We'll see. Um, that said, the writing process of the Gospel According to Earth has gone a lot better than I hoped it would. I have managed to get caught up and ahead much faster than I thought. Um, I am probably probably about a third of the way done with that story right now. And I was honestly, with even once I had finished the outline, with as few concrete ideas for things I wanted to happen in the story as I had when I started, um, I am surprised at how well I have managed to get through it. I usually start a story with about a third of the story firmly in my mind, usually mostly events at the very beginning and the very end, which are where a lot of the moments um, that I'm very excited about take place. Um, all three of the Triad World novels have started with some kind of a disaster, which is a, you know, a big, was a big part of the story in my head even before I started writing it. Um, and there's usually one or two scenes at the climax that I had pretty solidly worked out before I started writing them. So all in all, um, with this story, I really just had the opening disaster scene and one scene at the climax pretty well mapped out in my head. I didn't have really anything going on around them or uh, a whole lot of events that might happen in between um, to help me stitch them together. I had to work all of that out in the outlining phase. And then I was worried that I would have trouble filling in the details of those scenes um, when it came time to write them, I would have to spend a lot of time brainstorming um, and a lot of time researching around uh, the edges of scenes in order to help me really fill in those details. And I've only had to really do that once so far, which is a really good track record for me. I usually spend a lot of time researching and wool gathering as I write stories. Um, I'll get, you know, on a some side tangent about a piece of technology or a weapon or a piece of armor or something like that. And I'll just spiral into a research, you know, binge and have to drag myself out of that like an hour and a half later and be like, oh man, I lost three quarters of the two hours, you know, I had set aside for writing tonight. So those kind of things have not plagued me as much as I'm writing this book. Um, I think in part because I did all of that during the previous two books Partly because I, I think I am getting a little more disciplined with these things uh, as I get a little older and with a, a more um, defined process worked out for how I write. Um, I am still researching these things, but I am finding uh, small chunks of time where I can do it whilst I'm, say, on a break at work or something like that. Um, and I can make a few notes there and then just reference those notes when it's time to write something longer here at, at my writing desk. So all in all, um, that process is going very smoothly. I'm very satisfied with how that's coming together. Um, and I haven't had any major moments of writer's block. So I'm pretty optimistic. And oh, my camera's going crazy. 
I get this to work again? Um, all right, folks. Well, I'm just about done. I apologize for the camera issue. Um, I am just going to call this a day here. I think the writing is going really well, and I will talk to you all next week. Uh, let me know what you thought down in the comments below. See you later.